Hi gang, Scott Davenport here. Quick on one photo raw tip for you today, custom brushes and using them to watermark your images. If you like videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And if you're thinking about adding photo raw to your toolkit, check the show notes. There's a discount code down there for you. Save you a little money. Now I did a video earlier about the custom brushes feature, this new feature in photo raw 2021 and talked about how you can do, you know, overlays and, and, you know, some, uh, some interesting shapes and things like that and how the different controls work. And something I didn't talk about was just doing it with your own watermark, taking your watermark, making it into a TIFF. As long as it's a grayscale TIFF, you can load it in as a custom brush and then use that to do watermarking on your images. And we have watermarking capability in export, but sometimes depending on the size you're exporting and the size of your watermark, things can get uh, a little mismatched. And so the scaling sometimes looks awkward. But if you're using a custom brush, you've got control over it right in your editing. So first, let's go through about how to add in a grayscale TIFF as a special custom brush in the Manage Extras area. So in the Browse module, let's open up the Extras Manager, File, Manage Extras, got a bunch of different extras and one of them is brush shapes and this is where we can import a custom brush now a custom brush is just a tiff file and most of the time they're grayscale and so they've got some nuance to them but for a logo or a stamp you really want just crisp black text on a white background and that's all you need and so that's what I'm gonna load in here I'll be a black graphics on a white background I've got one here from my logo I'll open that up it'll ask me what do I want to put it in the category and I can make my own category I'll just call it STP logo alright and now I have one brush that's been added and notice the the interesting way it shows up it shows up in the reverse of what you loaded in because when you're gonna work with this brush it's going to be like a mask and so when you mask with white that reveals when you mask with black that conceals so it kind of is this little invert display but it is what we expect a uh, little little awkward when you first see it but it is what you expect let me close that out and I'll show you how this works in in application so let me open up this photo here in the develop module I'll switch over to the locals tab and I want to do paint with color when you're gonna do a little stamping of a logo paint with color I'll just choose white as the color and then up in the menu here where I have my shape way down at the bottom I'll have my logo. I can choose that. There's my logo. We can make the size a little bit larger. Now for stamps, you really want your feather to be low to nothing and your opacity and flow to be very high. And I'll just set everything up to 100% so I get a crisp stamp. And then let me back that out to 0%. We'll go with the size. That's way too big. Something like that. And now I have control over wherever I like to put this. I can just drop it right there. One click. That's all it is. One click. And now I've got my logo. And I still have control, right? I can change the opacity of that with my adjustment. If for whatever reason I want to change the color, can go in here and we can make it, you know, blue or, you know, pink or whatever we want to do. We have all that control because we're using the logo as a custom brush. So this gives you a little bit of extra control over where you place your logo, if you want to put it at an angle, if you want the opacity to be halfway, uh, a bit more than what the export panel gives you. Of course, you need to do this on the individual photo, but sometimes maybe you need to do that, and now you know how to do it. So uh, that's going to do it for the tip. Hope you enjoyed it. Got questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.